Hello, I'm Dave O'Connell with a word about the stories that are in this week's Connacht Tribune. Anyone who's ever had an MRI scan in the past will know what a huge part it can play in early diagnosis and as a result of that recovery from serious illness. And UHG has a very fine facility in this regard. But you'd better want to avail of it during office hours because this life-saving equipment is only for use Monday to Friday from 8am to 6pm. That might seem enough to some people, but Deputy Dennis Nocton quite rightly points out that not having this out of hours in a so-called centre of excellence is, and this is his term, a bloody disgrace. Good news uh, on the jobs front for Galway this week with over 250 of them across the city and county and we have loads on that but specifically on Vallejo in Tume where 140 of those jobs are going. This company has been so successful that they're actually running out of manufacturing space. In fact it's feared that the Tume plant could lose jobs to Mexico if they win a major contract with a car manufacturer which will be decided before the end of the year. Vallejo manufactures car cameras for leading motor companies and between full-time and part-time staff they now employ close to a thousand people across four separate buildings on the Dunmore Road and now there are calls on the IDA to provide a state-of-the-art manufacturing and research and development plant uh, for Vallejo on its 27-acre site, the IDA's 27-acre site which is adjacent to Vallejo's current uh, operation. Uh, Irish water never far from the news but we have a different twist on it this week with regards to two areas of the county who have long been waiting for their new public water schemes. Ballinasloe is one but Carraro is particularly badly hit and according to experts the added problem here is the quality of the water uh, which has failed World Health Organization standards on five occasions recently. Uh, But because these schemes had been advanced only so far on the County Council's watch and now that Irish Water has assumed responsibility for all of this area, there are fears that they are back to step one. World War I commemorations everywhere this week and Mount Bellew led the way last weekend with the unveiling of a memorial plaque in honour of the men and women from that area who fought and died in the Great War. We're also looking at the Galway Science Fair and Festival, the Tulka Arts Festival and the story of a new soap set in an Aran Island hostel which is attracting loads of interest on the web. In sport, it's a big weekend for the footballers of Killannan and the Aran Islands, both of them bidding for Connacht glory in intermediate and junior football. And we're looking back on a weekend to remember for the hurlers of Capitagal, who won the county and Connacht intermediate championships all in the space of 24 hours. So all of that and loads more in this week's paper, which is in the shops this Thursday morning and every Thursday morning, or you can download our new Connacht Tribune app, which is available at the App Store or from Google Play.